Hi everybody, Chef Danny Davis here with Behind the Line with Triton Magazine. We're here at the Palm Beach Show uh, with Bold. And we're going to go on now and have a word with the chef. Hi, Chef Danny Davies here with Behind the Line. We're actually on Motor Yacht Bold here at the uh, boat show with Chef Daniel. Nice to meet you, Chef. Nice to meet you. So, um, how did you become a chef? I was starting very early, cooking when I was taking out pots and pans for the cabinet from the cabinet in my grandmother's kitchen oh, when yeah, I was so like three, four years old. Three, four, right, yeah. I said I want to cook. So, you know, since then. So, how, how was your route? Did you go to culinary college, or are you just starting a restaurant? Uh, I went to culinary school, and I've been uh, yeah. And I same time I worked in the restaurant when I was 15, 16 years old, starting in the you know dishwashing, trainee, yeah. you know all those call me, and then worked my myself up. So how how did you get into yachting from um, from being a chef? I started long time ago on the cruise ship for Cunard. Okay, in yeah, the, big cruise ship. Yeah, and no, not the big one, like Sea Goddess 1, 116 passengers, full ship, so okay, not, yeah. not the biggest one. So I started there a long time ago, and then I've been doing um, a lot of caterings in Asia, a lot of uh, yacht caterings, a little bit shorter, you know, temp. Mm -hmm. I had a big catering company in Asia, Thailand, and uh, actually when COVID came, uh, I got a call from... Um, from Bold, because I had a huge catering company, had 90 event canceled when COVID came. Oh dear. So uh, I closed down my catering company, I went back to yachting again, full time. And whereabouts are you from? I'm born in Sweden. Born in Sweden? Stockholm. And where do you live now? I've been living in Thailand for 11 years. Oh wow, That's yeah. my base. That's good then, I mean, the yachting money must transfer really well over to Thailand, right? You must sure. live like a king. Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so how long have you been on Bold? I've been here since September 2020. Awesome. So mm -hmm. do you do a lot of a lot of charters? This is a charter boat, right? Yeah, we do a lot of, sh not a lot, but we do uh, once a month. Where's your favorite place to charter? Does this boat go over to the Med or have you, you you've done we, that? We do Med, we do Caribbean. Which is your favorite place? I think Med. Med, because of the food? Yeah, the provisions is much easier. It's the food products, they are amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic out yeah. there. So how, how long are you you're here for in um, in Florida? Uh, we're leaving tomorrow to Bahamas. Oh, after the Bahamas, do some more charters, things like that? After Bahamas, we go back to Caribbean for a new charter, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, how many are there on your, on the boat? Is it just you, or do you have more chefs? I have another sous chef on board, and when we have a charter, we get another helper also. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, what kind of food do you like to cook? What's your kind of like uh, signature style or cuisine? I've been cooking all around the world for over 20 years. I've been out of Sweden for 23 years now, I think. So, um, you know, Good I like everything. to... Yeah, but I'm very into Asian food myself. Yeah. Like sushi or more kind of the curry? More Thai, Japanese, Korean, Chinese. And also, of course, the classic French cuisine, Mediterranean, mm -hmm. and Scandinavian, of course, because I'm Swedish. Yeah. So I'm pretty, pretty multi-faced. All around. Do you do pastries and desserts and things of like course. that? Of course. Yeah. Baking sourdough almost every day. Fantastic. You have your desserts. own sourdoughs on, on board? Of course. Fantastic. Do you do any yeah. ferments or anything like that? Dry aging? Uh, not much, not much. We don't have space and time for it. But uh, all baking or ice creams, pastries, sorbets, baking yeah awesome i've just been playing with some uh, dry aging fish i okay. did a halibut for about four days all right it made amazing flavors oh, it great. takes all the moisture out and so you're just left with this creaminess you know the fish mm -hmm. that's left is beautiful interesting yeah sounds good um so um tell me about crew life um how do you find it on board mm, i like it i like it i've been running my own business with a catering company and restaurants for a long time now and it's work 24 seven. Here's also work, but when we, when you're off, you're off. Yeah. So right now I'm on three one. I'm on three months and I'm off one. And that's that's working well for me. So yeah, can travel Fantastic. a little bit. Yeah. How's the show been? Is, is that been good for you? I mean, it's, it's different as a chef. Have you been cooking food for the for the people coming on the boat? Uh, I have, our boss, had some dinners with some um, of his friends and business partners so you've on had board. Some guests on board. Oh yeah, we got guests on board. Yeah, 
fantastic. Do you, do you get to uh, to get out much and see much of the show? A uh, little bit, not too much. We have to be stand by here for for lunch and dinner for our guests. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, yeah, the show looks very nice. Yeah, pretty busy. Good hey? setup. Yeah. So um. Doing all the charters and things like that, do you, um, do you notice any changes in the way people are ordering food or kind of new trends that are kind of starting to appear? Uh, for our charter guests, a little bit more, more, you know, healthy, healthy style, a little bit more vegetarian. Yeah, more plant-based stuff. Yeah, but not too much, not too much from our clients. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of food do you cook on board? Is it more kind of high-end Michelin star standard? More high-end Michelin star. Or kind of more into the comfort food? Caviar, truffle, lobsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you cook any comfort food for guests if they, if they request it? We do, it? we do. Sure, we have billionaire guests. They ask for schnitzels and, you know, pasta, pan arabiata and, you know, comfort food like that. So what's, what's your favorite kind of comfort food to eat? Uh, like a... Let's say a buff bourguignon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's hey? pretty nice. Nice, some nice bread, some oh, mashed yeah, potatoes. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one of the questions we always ask the chefs: if you could cook for anybody, past or present, what would you cook for them, uh, and why? And who would it be? Wow, that's a hard one. It's a hard one, right? <laughs> you know, I'm. Uh, I love rock music. Let's yeah. say Steven Tyler, Aerosmith. Yeah. Yeah. What would you cook for them? I think I will cook him uh, something Asian, of course. Something Some nice, spicy? Mm, something spicy, something, maybe a tuna appetizer. Some nice tartar or tataki mm -hmm. with some uh, interesting wasabi sorbet, some sesame glaze, and, and then um, a, nice, a nice steak for Maine. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, like maybe dry age, like dry you dry talked age. about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, tell me, tell me, like, uh, how, how do you um, talk me through a, a normal day in a charter for you? What time of day are you getting up and getting into the galley? I'm uh, waking up 6:30. I'm in the galley around 7:15. Uh, mm -hmm. And yesterday I was out of galley midnight, no yeah. break. Yeah, long hours. So eh? it's long hours. Welcome to the chef life. Yeah. To be a chef is not a job, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, right? Yeah, yeah at least 15, 16 hours a day, and that's a, that's an easy day. Yeah, and you know what? We love it. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, yeah. yeah that's it's the life, eh? So what do, you, what do you do to relax then when you're not working? Do you have any hobbies or, or sports or things you like to do? I try to keep myself pretty healthy. I'm yeah. getting older, I want to still be in good shape, eating healthy, I'm not drinking so much alcohol. Not so much party anymore, like before. More relax. More relax. Watch movies. You know, yeah. walking, taking a nice walk. Sounds awesome. Yeah. So where do you see like the the future of yachting going, or the kind of food that people are cooking? Do you see that changing in the future? It changed. It's changing a little bit to the more healthier way, and that's good. Mm -hmm. More, uh, but you can say on the charters more chia seeds bowls and uh, you know smoothie bowls in the morning smashed avocados on black bread yeah not too much scrambled eggs and bacon anymore so you see a little change yeah and, and what does the future hold for you what, what's next for uh, chef daniel uh working on a new tv show oh yeah yeah you want to tell and, me a little uh, bit more about that a tv show here uh yeah we will we're working on it gonna call yacht chefs gonna start filming soon so uh, and I'm also I have a lot of things going on all the time cookbooks yeah I have a hot sauce line I'm working on working on seven different hot sauces and uh, a lot of things awesome. like always so if people want to get in, in contact with you or find out more about you how can they do that? Are you on Instagram Facebook I'm on Instagram yeah how, how do they find you on Instagram chef Daniel Isberg Jeff Daniel Eastberg. Yeah. Awesome. And, and you sure. have a YouTube channel and you, do you have a book out at the moment? Not, not right now. I've been very bad on the social media with YouTube and everything, but I need to start and get it, get it out more. Yeah. My recipes and my videos. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, and thank you for letting us come on board. It's a fantastic boat. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's really nice. It is, yeah. yeah. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.
So we're just wrapping up now at Palm Beach International Boat Show. We've been on some fantastic boats. We've been on Bold. We met the chef there. We've seen some great people. Um, but it's all done now. So look, go online, look for Triton Magazine, Behind the Line with Chef Danny Davis to find out what happened today. Bye-bye.